Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman here with my now fiance Jen and we wanted to show you some of our engagement video from our vacation we took last month. Uh, so we decided to go on a cruise for vacation this year. I had never been on a cruise before. To me, cruises were something that rich people did and I had never been on one before. So Jen and I, we set aside money throughout the year and we uh, decided to, to go on a cruise and we were able to luckily uh, pull that off. It was coming to be about that time where I was wanting to uh, pop the question and um, I was debating on the way I wanted to do it and before we even went on this I had gone to a couple of uh, jewelers looked at just looked at some rings looked at some prices of rings stuff like that and um, just to get an idea and then um, I was gonna get a ring before we actually went on the boat and I was gonna try and like smuggle it in without you noticing um, and then I uh, looked up to see that there was a jeweler on the boat so my plan was we get on the boat um, I wanted to do it near the end of the cruise we'll have a whole fun vacation and then I proposed to kind of top it off, uh, which is what I ended up doing. So my plan was at some point on the ship, I figured we'd be exploring or doing something. I figured we'd go into a jewelry shop. Luckily for me, they were doing like a sale on watches or something. So my plan was to be like, I just want to go look at some watches or some crap or whatever. And then kind of mosey our way over to some of the rings, get your input and then um, see if I could buy one then. Luckily, you were just like, I want to go look at some rings. And so it took that pressure all away from me. Fine with me. I made it very clear to the guy though. I was like, look, we are, we are, no, not today, buddy. Um, we're just looking at rings because I, he definitely had that salesman like, yeah, as soon as we came like, in the door, like, what are we looking for yeah. today? You picked out this ring. It's one of the first ones you looked at and then you kept comparing. And I think, I think I made some comments, you know, just so I could get an idea like what you like, you know, whenever I do propose or whatever. So you had picked out this one and um, we're compared, compared it to like four or five other rings, always kind of came back to that one. And then um, you were like, hold on, we gotta, we gotta leave. I don't, I feel awkward I, with the sales thing. I, yeah, at that point I was like, okay, yeah, they're all really pretty rings, great. And um, I was like, hold on, you, you need to tell him that like, you know, we're, they're nice, but we're, we're going just looking, now. Just looking, yeah, we're just looking. Um, because, I tried to drop hints to him, but that did not, I, I don't think he got it. Yeah, so we head back to the room. My plan was, um, there was like this little arcade that was under like the, the deck below us. And um, we got back to the cabin or to our room. And um, I was just gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna go down there and just play a couple games if that's okay. Uh, but luckily you went to go take a shower and you're like, hey, can you stop by this shop and get me one of those special candy things I've been really wanting? It was wanting. a box of candy. I gave him the name of the candy, the flavor. So he like, he knew exactly what to get, so. Yeah. But you gave me an excuse to leave the room. So you, you tell me you want me to pick you up a candy. Sure, no problem, babe. I leave, I pretty much book it because I know that time would be a factor. And I knew if I took too long, you would have noticed. So I really, I hightail it. I go find the same salesman. We, I forget his name. I think I think it was Victor. I go, Victor, let's do it. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes and he picks out the ring and uh, I pick Wait, it up. Do it again. What did he do? <laughs> I go, Victor, and he notices me. And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, so the plan was at the time he was like, uh, I, he rang it up and um, I bought it. I bought it right there. Oh, that was another thing. You could not see the purchases on my card because I was the primary holder, but I could see all yours. So this is also one of the few times that I could think of where I could make a large purchase like that without you noticing. I believe it was later that night we were getting like our bill and no, I- No, you I, were just looking. You were curious about the charges so far. Or No, I made a comment to Holden. I was like, okay, um, they said our bill's gonna be coming tonight. So can I look at your folio just to see if all the charges um, look correct? And he goes, We'll do no, later. We'll do it. <laughs> I was like, it's the end of the night. Yeah. Nah, that's fine. We'll, we'll check later. I don't want to worry about it right now. <laughs> we were going to go to this little hibachi restaurant the next night. Yeah. And the plan was for Victor to actually hang on to the ring so I don't bring it back to the room. He was going to hang on to it and I was going to tell him, you know, uh, to come to the restaurant and then he was going to show up with it. And then I was going to propose to you there. I decided against that. Um, I said, no, I'll, I'll take the ring. I'll let you know if I want to do something like that. But I took the ring back to the room. You were still in the show. Oh, and I oh, quickly, I went to buy the candy and then I dealt it back. And I knocked on the door to let you know I had I returned. do remember that. He's like, you okay, babe? I'm like. Just let you know that I was what? back and not much time had passed. So. In hindsight, I, I see all these little tiny yep. so, um, clues. Uh, just because I like to be a little risk taker, I hid the ring 
on Jen's side of the bed under her, uh, uh, like in this little dresser thing that she... That irritated me a little bit when I found out about yeah. that because I'm like, you were banking on the fact that I was not going yeah. to check that area? And I even asked you when the ring was in there, I was, we were packing up, I think, to go home. And I was like, I hadn't proposed yet. And I was like, did you get everything? Did you get everything out of this, your little side drawer there? And you're like, I didn't use that thing. The ring was still sitting there. Anyway, so the final night, I asked Jen if we could uh, if we could dress up because we dressed up for some formal nights they had there. It's where you dress elegant up elegant night, elegant night, and you go to these really nice restaurants and stuff. So that was really cool. So I was like, can we dress up? And I just want to get a picture of us on the front of the ship, like at sunset. Again, I was like, you know, Holden, we've dressed up like two or three times this week. Maybe we should just not. What do you think? He's like. We're dressing up. Yeah. Uh, very. Yeah. We wanted to dress up. So we're looking. We're going. We're trying to go to the front of the ship, which we've been to several times. But because it was the last night of the ship, they were closing it down and cleaning. And we went to so many spots um, on, all, on multiple decks trying to get there. And I was getting frustrated because I wanted to propose at the front of the ship at sunset because we were heading uh, west where it was going down. And I was getting stressed. Y'all, the frustration was so bad that I stopped him and I looked at him and I said, Holden, why are you getting so upset? I mean, we can just, you know, go look somewhere else. Like, what's what's yeah. the big deal? He's <laughs> like, no, we have to go there. <laughs> yeah, so luckily we, I think it was on the 12th deck, we found some worker there and we were like, I'm just, we're just trying to see the sunset. He was like, maybe not like, the, like the co-captain, but he was, he, he was, was up there. Uh, so luckily he showed us this kind of, it wasn't private, but it was kind of this He's secluded. like, let me show you this best spot. Yeah. It's so romantic. <laughs> so he takes us up there. We go in. There's a couple people there, but as we came in, they were like, all right, let's head on. So they left. So we had, we just lucked out. Uh, we had the whole thing to ourselves and the perfect shot of the sunset. And so um, I told Jen, I wanted to mic us up. I was like, we haven't filmed anything for any videos. I just wanted to maybe just do a quick, you know, five minutes just talking about the trip so far so, to get an excuse to put the mic on her. So she said, yeah, we go out there and then, uh, and then this happened. What's been your favorite part of the whole cruise? Well, I really like scuba diving, but scuba diving wasn't part of the cruise. Yeah. Um, I would say, as far as the cruise goes, the waterfall excursion, and honestly, the food. The food? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you can have ice cream 24-7. We have 24-hour room service. I think the scuba diving was my favorite part, even though it wasn't. Well, it was part of our vacation, but you know, not a part of the cruise. I think probably the waterfall is my favorite part of the cruise. You love being out here with me? Of course I do. It's peaceful. Good. I love it a lot. It's gorgeous. What kind of boat is that out there? Which one? The one that's way out there. I don't know if that's a boat. Can you make it out? No, I, I don't even know what that is. It looks like an island. That one I think is a cruise ship though. You know what would make me really happy? What? Holden Hardman! As if you married me? I was with you the whole time! I know, I'm kind of sneaky. Will you marry me? Oh my god, yes, yes. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god, you sneaky little shit! <laughs> I knew you were acting weird. I was not. How was I acting weird? You were so bummed out. Oh, because I couldn't get to the sunset? <laughs> Look at that thing. It goes straight to the bottom. Oh my goodness. Oh, my God. oh, I love you so much. I love you too. When did you do that? You were with me the whole time. Oh, did you do it today? No. I love you. I hope you like it. Oh my it god, I love it. Oh, it's perfect. I was so shocked <laughs> because I literally was going through my brain trying to figure out when did he have the time to do this? I mean, we just we just looked at that. We were at that ring shop. Two days ago. Two yeah. days ago. No, it was like 
the maybe. day before. Maybe. It was the day before. And almost appalled that I had not figured it out because I was like, when did he have the time? He was with me the entire time. He didn't even bother telling me until when we, we got home. And he's like, you were in the shower. You asked me to go get something. Mm. I was just so stunned was... that he pulled that off. Man, I bet you he went back to the jewelry store, talked to Victor, worked this out, <laughs> you know? Um, so my brain was just, I was in shock. She said yes, and um, the front of the ship at sunset on it our last day of, a, of the perfect. best vacation I ever been on. It was perfect. And literally, I think um, about a minute or two after I said yes, this cute little couple like opened the door and was like, <laughs> Should we come oh, back? Yeah. I made eye contact with this guy, and you could just see, and he go, he goes, uh, he does that number, and I was like, just give me a couple minutes. Who's Victor? He's the one who sold us the ring. Hello. Need, need just two seconds, two minutes. <laughs> uh, but it was great. So if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Uh, it helps us out a lot. Comment down below letting us know your thoughts on our proposal. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this and some of our My Girlfriend Watches, My Friend Watches series. And consider joining my Patreon to get early access to select content and behind the scenes and uh, direct messages, all that fun stuff. As always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.